Solid state batteries, are they really here? A lot of people think they're never gonna come and we keep hearing about them for years. Toyota's been talking about them since 2014. But actually, one of the world's largest automakers, or one of China's largest automakers, one of the, actually the second fastest growing automaker in the world this year, they've just begun producing them. And this is interesting because it suggests we could actually see solid state batteries in EVs starting next year. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. Great to have you with us. I've talked about solid state batteries many times. And like you, I'm kind of sick about hearing about it and not actually seeing them in cars. However, Cherry backed and we Anwa New Energy Technology shared their first batch of engineering samples of solid state batteries, which rolled off their production line in China. The company aims to launch a gigawatt hour level volume solid state battery assembly, which they say will be happening next year. The first gen Anwa batteries have an energy density of um, a little disappointing, 300 watt hours per kilogram. Well, I mean, that's a bit, to give you some context, Tesla's 4680 battery sales energy density is estimated to be around 270 watt hours per kilogram. I'm going to give you a range figure. They apparently range from 244 to 296 watt hours per kilogram. But I mean, I don't think that, um, I think the average is around closer to 270 watt hours per kilogram. So 300 watt hours per kilogram for these solid state batteries. It's, I mean, it's not amazing, but it's still pretty good. And you could still get very good range with this, I think. Just improving energy density by 10% is actually a significant improvement. And we and what new energy tech was founded in June 2020, according to Car News China Research, Cherry New Energy controls 10% of the company. Go Shanghai Tech, one of the other big battery companies in China, they hold 6%. In October 24, 2024, Cherry Group revealed its plans to put solid state batteries into its EVs in China. And those batteries are starting to roll off the production line now, apparently. The first batch of solid state batteries developed by the company rolled off a production line in their Woohoo Economic and Technological Development Zone on the 4th of July. And these are engineering samples. However, the batteries apparently have passed the new no fire, no explosion standards in China, meaning they are very safe and they've gone under quite a lot of testing. In terms of capacity, though, how many batteries will they actually be making? Well, apparently the pl planned production capacity is 1.25 gigawatt hours, production speed 20, 20 meters per minute, and apparently they use laser slitting technology to solve problems of dust pollution with battery manufacturing to make sure that everything is completely 100% correct and not gonna have any, have any you know, um, manufacturing defects. Now, Anwar reportedly adopts a five-step dry manufacturing production process, a little bit like Tesla's actually, reducing energy consumption by 20% and fixed asset investment by 30%. So it's interesting that Tesla was talked about for years about this dry manufacturing production process. Clearly, this is an advantage. In the next few years, now I understand if you're going to be a naysayer and say it's not Tesla's the same as Tesla, and you're right, it's not, but it's still a similar concept. So apparently in the next few years, the plan is for the site to hold a five gigawatt hour solid state battery R&D center and an integrated automated production line. Back to the batteries. Energy density, 300 watt hours per kilogram. Apparently, the second gen version, which they're hoping to bring out in 2026, has 400 watt hours per kilogram. They say that in 2027, it'll have 500 watt hours per kilogram. Can't confirm if that's true, but I mean, that would be cool. 500 watt hours per kilogram, if that's accurate. Let's say you put a say an 80 kilowatt hour battery in your Tesla Model Y, your Zika 7X, your Xpeng G6, one of those cars, 80 kilowatt hour battery, you'd be looking at probably about a thousand kilometers of range, potentially slightly more than that from that size battery. So massive, right? Now, if you put a bigger battery and you put a hundred kilowatt hour battery in there, I mean, you'd be totally unnecessary, but you could use that vehicle for towing and you'd have plenty of range. You'd never even think about it being an issue. I don't think anyway. Anyway, what cars will they go into? Apparently the Cherry Exceed Xlantix ET has been driving around using one of these solid state batteries in China. It's actually written on the side of the vehicle that it's using it. 
So Cherry plan on using them in their new, new electric cars, which would be cool. But for me, the really exciting part is getting to that 500 watt hour per kilogram because that's the point where these batteries are just going to be used everywhere. I mean, I'm talking about everywhere as in airplanes, you know, so many different things, so many different areas where batteries need to be lightweight. Sports cars, another example, you know, supercars. Batteries need to be lightweight. And when you can lower the weight, basically lower the size and weight of the battery pack, it's a game changer for so many different applications. It'll mean one thing as well. Future electric cars will be significantly lighter than internal combustion cars. Rather than in some cases being heavier, in some cases significantly heavier, they'll actually be significantly lighter for this one key reason. Guys, let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. BYD is denying a report saying, well, many reports, in fact, saying that it is testing a next generation solid state battery capable of providing 1,500 kilometers of range now in the BYD seal. I'm gonna share with you these reports. I'm not sure why BYD is denying this. I suspect it's possible that, you know, it's possible BYD doesn't want people to think, don't buy a BYD car because you wanna wait for the solid state battery version. That's possible. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel, I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking, great to have you with us. A lot of people say this, don't they? A lot of people say, oh, you know, my car's gonna be obsolete. I'm gonna, if I buy a car and EV now, then what's gonna happen next year when the new model's out? And then, the, and then there's gonna be another model. And then, you know, when should I buy? Well, here's the thing. No one knows. No one, really, the truth is no one knows. And even if there is a solid state battery version of a BYD car that comes out next year, it's gonna be pretty expensive. Secondly, it's going to get better the following year and then better the following year. It's never, ever going to change. The one thing that's going to stay the same is it's always going to change. No matter what you do, your car is going to be obsolete as soon as you buy it. The reports were first seen in China on SMZDM and shared by Electric. Not that that gives it any credibility, but anyway, they state that the road testing is underway in BYD Seal Sedans. The pack being tested can be charged in 12 minutes, which is kind of not particularly fast for a BYD considering BYD's new blade battery can charge in five minutes. Anyhow, it's being trialed until around 2027 when they're saying it'll go into the company's production cars. 2027, that's two years away. I, I should confirm here, guys. It is true that BYD have been working on solid state batteries. That is, BYD is not saying that's not true. They are saying that these reports are not true. Anyhow, by 2030, BYD's CTO Sun Hu Jian expects this battery tech to go into mass-produced vehicles from the brand.